Encourage the imagination. Yeah, wouldn't that be hilarious? Get like a couple mm -hmm. basic D and D books, put them in there. Mm -hmm. I'd I'd go at least third edition though, because simpler. Oh yeah. <laughs> George is saying hi. But we are here at the Food uh, Boys Behave. We are here at the food pantry. Uh, we call in or go online, pre-order, you know, what you want. And then you come here. When you get here, you call, let them know you're here. And then they bring the food out. Um, put it on the table right here for you. And from there, we you basically pick up the food. Put it in your truck or in the back, and you're good. So, uh, George and I are here good for you. Don't care. to get some food, some sustenance. He's there. <laughs> uh, so, this is another reason we, you know, kind of <laughs> venture out. I mean, and. Yes, I will make the correction. I will state the correction. Yes, I am sorry. We have nine people in the house. Oh, there we go. See? And you see, they're in masks. And gloves. Okay, and I've got a park. So, here, we are going to do this. But, yes, I am really trying here so that we can, um, you know, feed everybody. But then you got to think, how, how, how much does daddy eat? <laughs> I'd say daddy eats for what, two people? Yes, you but think? it's all pasta. Did I hit something? Greetings, Borderline Mom here, and, um, oh, are you done? Okay, Hunter is done with his snack. Thank you, here, put it in the sink. Um, it's the, sorry about that. No, go get a cup. <clears throat> this is a quick, uh, food pantry haul. Um, the way the food, I will have a, um, I'm going to break this up, um, because this is technically two food pantry, um, here, because one is mine, one is George's. Yes, honey. Thank you. Uh, George has gotten out, you know, the basics of what he can eat in outside in his area and this is the stuff that needed to come in that I am going to be using to cook for everybody. Yes, I am sorry, I have nine people, not ten. I was off by one person, but then you have to look at the size of James and at times George because between the two of them they make three people when it comes to food. Four or five, I say. What? Oh, well, yeah. Okay. George says between him and James, they can eat enough food for five people. And with James, yeah. Um, he can eat one pound of pasta in a meal. One meal, one pound of pasta. Just him. And I've got to feed him. Okay, so, um, yeah, but even, you know, even some of my cheapest meals are $10 a meal. That's, you know, one meal, $10 to feed the whole house. Times that by 30 days in a month, that is... Three hundred dollars 
that I spend in, you know, just for dinners now. Just for dinners. In, you know, one month. I only get a hundred dollars in food stamps. Okay. Um Karen has not received started receiving her food stamps yet. Uh due to this lovely pandemic. Her food stamp application and the Georges are both on hold. Come here, baby. Ow, ow. Okay, Chase, honey, I've got him. Thank you. He pinched his finger. We're not making anything right now. It's not time for dinner, okay? Dude, are you trying to choke me? Have a snack. There's goldfish over there. Goldfish. You can give a small bag to your brother, too. Hunter want goldfish? Aww. So, okay, my mom has been out of work for two weeks, which means, I mean, no pay. So, I mean, she can pitch in some, but right now we're relying a lot on James's paycheck. To get by. What? No. What do you want? You want? No, we're not playing with that. So, I am trying to look at the long term. What? No, you're not eating that. Hold on. I will be right back. Okay, now. We do know for a fact, at least, my mom will be out of work for another, uh, at least three weeks. So that is a, that is like almost, um, that is a little over a month that my mom is, you know, well, yeah, it will be a month and a half that my mom is going to go without pay, just about, or reduced pay. We still have to pay bills. Um, and unfortunately right now, my mom is a big source of income between my mom and James. So, we're taking away one income, and we are having to find ways to survive with that. We still have to pay rent, car insurance, phone, you know, electricity. Um, unfortunately, George's... Um, what is it? George's disability is on hold. So we can't move forward with that so he can get food stamps. Um, <laughs> Karen's food stamps are on hold. We were getting ready to apply. We applied for her, and right now they're a little overlogged with everybody else applying for food stamps who is, you know, pretty much out of work due to all this. And we are trying to find ways to keep the adults and more specifically the children fed with healthy lunches. I mean... Am I supposed to have my kids eat macaroni and cheese, ramen, and hot dogs, and peanut butter sandwiches 24 days, you know, for the next however long we're going to be here? Oh, you got cutie. You got cutie. Oh, yes, and by the way, three of these kittens are already gone. Yes, they got their forever homes today. Oh, yay. Mwah. So sweet. <laughs> so we are, um, like I said, three kittens got picked up today, so they have homes. Say yay. Oh, look at that preciousness. But, um, let's see. Oh, I done lost my train of thought. 
But now I have to go out and keep my kids fed. I don't have a printer, so I can't print off, you know, their schoolwork, and I don't want them to get behind in schoolwork. So, starting on the 14th, every, you know, Tuesday, I have to make a trip to the school to pick up their work and turn it in. So, that's going to be fun. <laughs> and, oh, yes, I know I remember. Okay. Per meal, all of the stores around here, you have a limit. Two gallons of bread two loaves of, yeah, two gallons of bread, <laughs> sorry, two gallons of milk, two loaves of bread, and it's like two things of meat, and that's it, that's what you get, you can get two chicken, two pork, you know, and two beef, but that's it, that is all you can buy, you can only buy two at a time. So, one loaf of bread will be lunch. Well, one loaf of bread and one jar of peanut butter is one meal. So, that is two days. And then on that third day, second or third day, I've got to go back to the grocery store to get more bread. And that's not even including if we want to make, like, French toast for breakfast. Um, you know, or the cereal. I mean, we're going through a gallon of milk in two days. So every four days, we have to go and buy milk. So every two days, we go to buy bread. Every four days, we go to buy milk. And, well, I'm going out to the store for that anyway. In the store, I have to go in and I pick up items. And <clears throat> George will get a kick out of this. We just had a woman arrested for going into the grocery store and licking not not, not shop lifting, but licking $1,800 worth of groceries. She just went into the store, would pick up items, and lick them. And she got arrested for it. So if I'm going in, if I go to the store, I don't know who has touched all of these items that they have put, that they have stocked, they're not wearing, I don't see gloves when they're stocking. I don't know how many, you know, people, okay, in here, I can go onto my Facebook, I can go onto Goochland Moms, um, onto my Facebook and just look at the local people, and we have at least six people in Goochland who believe this whole pandemic, the whole virus, the COVID-19 virus is nothing more than a government cover-up or it's the government, the government is using it to try to control us. So we have people that are pushing everyone to go out and about and are, they're just ignoring everything. They don't do the social distancing. They're not doing the constant hand washing. They're not, you know, they're not doing any of the safety precautions. They're living their life like, you know, COVID-19 doesn't exist. Because they don't believe in it. And that's here. Okay, in my state, Goochland County has 24 cases. Um... However, if you go to, like, Richmond City, has almost 200. Hen um, Colonial Heights has almost 200. Chesterfield has almost 200. 
We do not, and most of the cases that we have here in Goochland is actually, unfortunately, the prison system. We have a very large uh, correctional facility here in Goochland. <laughs> I know we have a minimum of five there. There were five at the women's uh, facility. Um, and I want to say there were, you know, like five more, you know, at least five more in other areas. And um, Goochland itself does have a... Uh, does have a small little quarantine area to put those that are sick. And these are just people testing positive that I know of. We haven't had any deaths yet. At least not in Goochland. Okay, we are taking steps. We are doing the social distancing. Um, if anybody does arrive at the park... You know, if there is more than me and one other family in the area, then I holler for the kids and we leave. The only ones who are, you know, out and about is the kids. I let them run in the field and we have been, and you know, Goochland, uh, Goochland County Parks and Recreations have... Well, they have stated that, you know, running in the fields and using the trails is okay. It is safe. If the parks, if Goochland County Parks and Recreations were to say, we are completely closed, well, I will respect that and we'll be just stuck at home all the time. But even still... Going to the grocery store. I'm still going to be going out every two days at a minimum. Every two days I have to go out and go grocery shopping. Because I can only buy two go two days worth of stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to me. That's it. I can get to me. And that's if they even have it. Hi. Yes. No, mommy doesn't want so, I'm, I'm kind of at a loss. Should I go to the grocery store where I don't know who has been, you know, touching my stuff? I don't know who's been touching the food on the shelves. You know, I could have some contaminated person on there, you know, walking through and just touch this. You know, I like this. <coughs> oh, no, I don't want that now. Uh, you know, it's like, oh, it's like, oh, do I want this? Oh, oh, oh oops. Uh, uh, um, yeah, it's like, ooh, it's got a little something on it. No, okay, let's go to the, you know, I think I'll take this one. Okay, people are going to touch, you go to the grocery store and you touch the food. So, yeah, I don't know if that, but going to the school lunches, when they prepare the school lunches, they have gloves. When they when they dish out the food lunches, you know, when they put it all together, gloves. All of the school all of the food at the school, you know, from packaging, once it's, you know, packaged, it gets shipped. And then as soon as the schools get it, they're it's completely gloved. So that takes, you know, that at least that little bit out of the equation. I know the school is doing everything they can to make sure the food my kids get are not contaminated. And it's, I still have, and as I said, I have to go out anyway every two days. So it's whether it's every, you know, whether it's Monday through Friday or every two days. Due to the restrictions and the amount of people we have in this house. I mean, I'm sorry, we can all sit down and... Uh, George, how long will it take you to go through a loaf of bread? A loaf of bread and a jar of peanut butter, if that's all you've got to eat. If that's all i got, it'll take me about a week. Okay, how many sandwiches do you eat at a time? 
one. If if it, if if I make you a sandwich I'll for eat your one or lunch. Two. So that's four slices of bread for you. Yeah. And then I got four slices for Jake. Yeah. Four slices for Dean. Two for Hunter. So that's you know four times 14. three. Fourteen slices of bread in one meal. And if I can only buy two loaves of bread a day, we're, you know, oh, and that's not even counting my mom or Karen. Oh, yeah, Karen will eat um, two sandwiches. So 14, 15, 16, 17, there's 18 slices. My mom will eat two, so 18 19, 20, 21, 22 slices, and that's, you know, me not eating. So, I am going to go check something here. Yes. Uh-uh. Love the kitty. Um, here, and it's, here. Oh, look at that. Servings per slice. 22 servings per container. Serving is one slice. So, 22 slices per bag of bread. So that's two sandwiches. Everybody eats two sandwiches a day. There's a loaf of bread gone. One day. Two days. All the bread's gone. I've got to go back and get more. So, yes. I'm sorry. I have to go out at least... Either every day or every other day. I have no choice if I want to feed everybody. So, I'm doing what I can to stay safe. I am social distancing. We've got hand sanitizer. We've got everything going on. We are doing our best. And if feeding my children is stupid... You know what? Then the whole world is stupid. Because everybody's trying to feed their kids. Now, that is the end of my little rant. Now, we did do the food pantry. I will include a video of, um, at the end here of what exactly happens at the food pantry. As I said, I am doing what I can to feed the, okay, yes, nine people that live in this house. And that is two to three meals a day. And then for, you know, at least three of them, they have to have one to two snacks. And then, heaven forbid, I'm feeding James when James is home all day. James will go, can go through, you know, a pound of spaghetti for lunch, a bag of chips for snack, um, four to five servings of whatever dinner I fix. <laughs> so, yes, he is a healthy male. He eats a lot. So, I do try to, I am trying to keep everybody fed. That is my thing. That is why I go out. But, end of that. Okay, now, these are pre-packaged bags. My online order got messed up. Uh, Jace, 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 please. Hunter, no. Get your brother, keep your brother in the living room, please. Now, meat. We have this lean uh, uh, beef stew meat. This is probably going to end up being a lunch for me, my mom, and George for one day. Probably just going to make a nice, I've got some frozen mixed vegetables. I'll make a nice beef stew. Yeah. Should I be nice to the boys or should I be mean? Ooh, you can I be nice. I could eat them in front of them. <laughs> it would be fun. They're mine. Um, 
And besides, if I give them to you, Jace, you'd have to share them with your brothers. Hand yeah, no. sanitizer. I'll keep it right here now. Yes. <laughs> so, no, Jace, you have a choice. Right share now. with your brothers or don't get it. That's a no. Okay. All right. <clears throat> now. I'll give them the choice. Now, bread. Oh, I also have a big bag of, um, a big box of chicken quarters that I put directly into the freezer. Um, now, we have a honey baguette. These are really good. Um, next time I do, um, later on, I'm going to be doing a chicken marinara. No, uh, sorry, a chicken parmesan. And I'm going to go ahead and cut these into little crustinis and make, um, you know, little garlic crustinis out of these out of this for that dinner. I want to say that's going to be Monday's dinner. I think I have to double check. Okay. Um, I got a thing of hamburger buns. And oh, wow, look at that. These hamburger buns expired um, eight, April 8th. As of making this video, it is... 10th? April 10th. Hmm. I also have, if he's holding it right, he doesn't he mind. He's squeezing it way too tight. Ah. Uh, Hunter, no squeeze. When, when the eyes are starting to bug out, that's too much. Yeah. Hunter, Jace, you're not doing a very good job. I seem to do it too then. Hot dog buns. You know, maybe we'll do another grill. This oh. will go well with the hot dogs I've got. Yeah. You know, I think I might add a grill knife in. Um, we have another can of tuna. I got some chicken, but I can use that out there. Canned chicken? Okay. <coughs> yeah, you just uh, do some rice, some yeah. sauce in it, and boom. Yeah. Mini water bottle. I'm also going to use the peas and corn with that, because I love peas and corn. Eggs. We have some nice, fresh, brown eggs. Couldn't use them outside. Yeah. I mean, the okay. best I could do would be to hard boil them and take them out. Yeah. Um, I got eggs, too. So, we have two dozen eggs. <laughs> um, nice. In that case, I might hard boil them. Go right ahead. Um, I got... Uh, that way they can be gritty little detective eggs. Yeah. Because they're hard boiled. Yeah. We have ketchup. And run away. Yes. Oh, we have... Hey, George, it's Beanie Weenies! Ooh. Here, you can take that out for you. That's not, I'll eat that. The lettuce for your <laughs> head. Hold on, the, um... Original Bush's Baked Beans. You know what? I do think I'm going to add a grill day. Because we still have the... Uh, Beans don't burn on the grill. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um... We still have the hamburger patties that my mom brought home from work. People left. So, yeah, that's a tomato soup. We have one can of tomato soup, which George just grabbed. And a can of chicken noodle soup. Just the small cans. Um, you know, here. We have a uh, pear halves. I'll go ahead and pass that to George. Uh, George I would say the boys that. might actually like that, though. Yeah. Pears. I've got enough, too. Uh, we have some pears, too, oh. if you would like. No, I mean, um, I like them, so... We have a uh, French this cut... This is easier for me to yeah. deal with. French cut green beans. <gasps> and she is out of her room! Yay! Hi! I believe the phrase you're looking for is, It's alive! <laughs> it's alive! <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> spaghetti rings and meatballs. Can I have that seat, Jace? Uh, Jace. Let's see, BP Jace. Mac. Have that seat. Just good. Um, ooh, we have a box of scalloped potatoes. These will go really good with the ham. You know what? I might make these Sunday. Borrow another seat. I think I will do these. These will be really good on Sunday. So you know, we could do the ham and the scalloped potatoes and. Maybe I can make a small green bean casserole. I hope. Um, okay, we got my favorite butternut squash fries. 
those I'm going to enjoy. Uh, zucchini noodles. I can use these for George to make one of his bags. Uh, sweet potato noodles. These are really good. Um, butterscotch jello. I'll make that. But, um, let's see. Pineapple tidbits. I'll, those are good. I can put that with the ham. There's a kitten in the kitten food. Yes. Oh, how cute. Uh, two cans of uh, very, very young, small, sweet peas. And this is one of James's favorite brands. We don't get that. We don't get it that often because it's like two dollars a can. And if I'm feeding everybody at once, I we can go through two cans at a time. Um, let's see. We have two cans of Hunt's tomato sauce. So here's good. Um, there's a pasta night. Um, here, up oh, two boxes of macaroni and cheese. This could be a good lunch on the weekends when the kids don't get their food. Um, oh, yeah. We got a uh, three pack of peppers. I'll probably cut these up, add them with the zucchini noodles and a little bit of meat for George. Um, yeah, jar of peanut butter. Uh, we have two very nice heads of lettuce. So, <gasps> salad. What? Nothing. Boobies! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I love the bunch of <laughs> Wee! <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, we have a Nutri-Grain um, these are cereal bars. Strawberry. Yeah. Um, these, this box was George's. George can't eat it, so he gave it to the kids. And then we have, um, the kids have already opened up this box of pretty much the same thing, only it's Nutri-Grain brand. And, yeah, all three boys love these, especially the strawberry flavor. Um, oh, yeah. We also got a thing of holy spaghetti. Um, oh, hold on here. A Quidditch. Oh, Keech. Sorry, why am I, I, I I'm thinking of Quidditch. So you got one too? Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I got Harry Potter on in the room. Yeah. I didn't think you were in there. <laughs> they actually do have a Quidditch league? Where yeah. They run around? Yeah. I had an idea to make it better. Yeah. George may have this. He can take, you can take oh, that out Oh, heck yeah. For it you. works great in the uh, toaster oven. Yes. Um, now... The bread pudding with vanilla sauce is going to be mine. It's really good for something you're buying like that, you know? Yes. Some people don't. It's just an omelet and, and pie form. You know yeah, I know. The omelets. Uh, mm. fucking love omelets. Mm. Oh. And yes, then we out. got a bunch like, of bothering. random fruit. Out everything that could possibly be good for you. What? Egg white omelets and egg oh. whites only. Yeah, no, thank you. You take out everything that has any nutritional value. Apples. Yes, they're fat, but... Oranges. You need that. Red potatoes. Oh. And all in all... Oh, and we have oh, this little adorable. bag of snacks and breakfast. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Ooh, is that what I think it is? Ooh, who likes the fudge Pop-Tarts? Yeah. <laughs> Grammy want fudge pop tarts for breakfast tomorrow. There <laughs> you go, Grammy. Thank you. <laughs> um, I have two Carnation Essentials instant breakfast packets. These I love, but I will probably mix them up and give it, use it as a um, supplement for Hunter. Um, let's see, now, we have, what is this, trail mix, uh, fruit and nut, um, <laughs> granola bar, and a crunchy oats and honey bar, granola bar, and it looks like here's a, um, oh, Belvita cinnamon and brown sugar flavored biscuits. Yeah, okay, so... All in all, it's a rather 
nice little food pantry haul for everyone. And hey, I will do more videos throughout the week, but I do hope you enjoy this one for now. So, Borderline Mom saying, uh, catch you later. Bye.